Shabbat Shalom. Wow, that was overwhelming. Man. Let's try that again. We can tell who's had their coffee from the back and who's like still sipping for a minute. Let's try again. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Getting better. Welcome to Anshay Tikva as we celebrate this morning as Sydney becomes a bat mitzvah with all of the rights and responsibilities that come with that ceremony. This morning, Sydney has three sacred obligations. Her first will be to lead us in worship. In order to fulfill that obligation, she needs a congregation ready to be led in worship. And so we'll be looking for a more rousing response than the like us the first try we, we had on it. But we'll, we'll get there. And that way we'll, it will encourage Sydney to lead us in prayer. Her second obligation will be to read from the Sefer Torah. She'll be reading today from a very special scroll, scroll 1502, survivor of the Nazi Holocaust. The Nazis stole this scroll from Czechoslovakia and was rescued, and today Sydney has decided to read from that scroll in memory of all of those who perished and to show that we continue to persist as a resilient people today. Her third obligation will be to teach us some words of Torah. And Sydney will be reflecting on her experience of becoming Bat Mitzvah and her Torah portion from this morning. But we take moments like this to celebrate and we invite in order to begin our worship by allowing Sydney's parents to have a moment for prayerful reflection. We invite them forward to read a prayer in preparation for Sydney becoming Bat Mitzvah. Live each day to the fullest, get the most from each hour, each day in each age of your life. Then you can look forward with confidence and back without regret. Be yourself, but be your best self. Dare to be different and to follow your own star. Don't be afraid to be happy. Enjoy what is beautiful. Love with all your heart and soul. Believe that those you love, love you. Forget what you have done for your friends and remember what they have done for you. Disregard what the world owes you and concentrate on what you owe the world. When you are faced with a decision, make that decision as wisely as possible. Then forget it. The moment of absolute certainty never arrives. Those beautiful words of instruction come from the Talmud, the rabbi's commentary on the Torah, as the rabbis were looking to reflect on what it means to become an adult, as you will become in just a few more moments. A gorgeous dress. I mean, we have to comment. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful dress. And you're almost dressed perfectly for the service, but you're missing just one thing. And so we invite forward now Papa Philip and Bubby in order to finish off the ensemble by presenting you with your beautiful top. Amen. With this palace, you become a woman. <laughs> I hope you use it often. And uh, think of this day every time you wear it. 
It's a beautiful day for you. Thank you. together in the singing of Matobu on page 67. your cue to repeat. Ya. Ya. Better. La. 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 Your Hebrew is perfect for this break. Let's try it again. Hey. page 74 with the psalm version.
with the Psalm 150. Hebrews improving by every minute. <laughs>
Adonai Tzavot Shemo Kedosh Yisrael Baruch Adonai Kahal Page 103, we rise to the honor. I don't know if we're talking to Gita Hila Tepa Barupata Adonai Eloheinu Berohe Avoteinu Beimoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzhak Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah Elohei Rika Elohei Leia Elohei Rachel Ha'el Ha'gadol
לא ימוש לעולם לדור ודור, 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 לדור ודור,
and be seated. Ki 
by God on Mount Sinai. Moses faithfully wrote it down and recorded it. It's going on your right shoulder. And very securely here because none of us want to fast for 40 days. <laughs> and can we give it a little kiss? There you go. In a couple more years, it'll be your turn to fall in. This Torah, Sydney, was given to us by God on Mount Sinai. Moses faithfully wrote it down and he shared it with Joshua. Joshua shared it with the elders. The elders shared it with the judges who in turn passed it down to the prophets. The prophets and the judges passed it to the men of the great assembly. We call those guys rabbis. The rabbis took the Torah with them out of Eretz Israel to the four corners of the world. This Torah is from Czechoslovakia. It is over 300 years old. It was captured by the Nazis. The Nazis tattooed this Torah with the number 1,502. It was the 1,502nd scroll they stole from us. It was rescued, this Torah, by the Allied forces who brought it to Westminster, England. From Westminster, England, it was discovered by a faithful Jewish soldier who made sure that Jews around the world would keep alive the memories of these communities. And so from Westminster, England, this Torah flew to New York. From New York, it flew to Chicago. And from Chicago, it ended up in your arms here in Buffalo Grove. Sydney, are you ready to accept this Torah with its rights, responsibilities, and privileges? There is a shake of the head, yes. We will take that in a firm minute so we can continue the service. Thank God. Page 135, the watchword of I think. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adol Yenu Gadol Shemo 
You know it gets very safe. I wish I could teach you what to Please be seated. You have thank you. <coughs> this one's three. They think between 300 and 350, there was a question on how you date the age of a Torah, and it has to do with the parchment, the way it's written, and the kind of calligraphy that's used. This Torah does not follow the regular standard pagination of columns of a Torah. It's too old for that. So we know it's at least 200 years old as we've standardized Torah columns 200 years ago. And it has a very particular kind of calligraphic font that was only done in a particular time and place. So it gives us somewhere in 300 to 350 for that style of, of font. If you'd like to learn more about that, please come back to us. Imposing on Paleopolis. <laughs> or not. All right. We'll be reading from Parshat the Pukotai this morning as we prepare to end our reading of the Torah. But before Sydney, we hear your beautiful offering of the Torah blessings and the reading of the Torah, we wanted to honor Uncle Howie and invite him for an Aliyah as well. And so Uncle Howie, we invite you forward. Ya Amod! Chaim Ben Leba. Chaim Ben Leba.
place of honor in preparation to hear your own divrei Torah, your own words of Torah. So we invite the congregation to rise as we turn now to return the Torah to the ark. Page 150. Page 150. Oh, 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 oh,
Sisi. You've chanted beautifully from the Torah. You've led us in worship and prayer. You're two-thirds of the way complete in fulfilling your sacred obligations to us today. We're excited now to hear your Divrei Torah, your words of Torah, as you teach us a bit about what it means to become Bat Mitzvah, and about what it means to read from the closing Parsha of the book of Vayikra, of the book of Leviticus. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Becoming a Bat Mitzvah means to me that I'm growing up and my life is changing. I want to become a Bat Mitzvah because I want to be able to teach my children one day. Being Jewish and becoming a Bat Mitzvah is an amazing thing to participate in. I have learned many things while going through the process of becoming a Bat Mitzvah, such as practicing. If I didn't practice, I wouldn't be standing in front of you today. Also, if I didn't pay attention Hebrew class, I would still not be in front of you today. I also learned that you have to be patient with your studies. Now, now many new respons- I have many new responsibilities because it is my job to educate the rest of my family on how to do Jewish activities. <clears throat> Over the past six months, I have done various mitzvahs. Mitzvahs means, mitzvah means commandment. The mitzvah I have done was feed my starving children, which was from the commandment, give me the Hasidim. And I also went to services at another synagogue, which was which is an example of the commandment of Allah. And I went to Hebrew school, which is an example of the commandment Torah. Give me the means acts of love and kindness. Kindness. <clears throat> Avodah means worship, and Torah means Jewish learning. <clears throat> the name of my Torah portion is Uhukotai. It is in the book of Leviticus. It is, the, it is in chapter 27, verses 32 to 34. My Torah portion talks about giving to the poor and donating to them. When I went to feed my starving children, I enacted this mitzvah. When I was there, I packaged food for starving children in various third world countries. I provided 50 children with a meal every day for an entire year. When I was doing this mitzvah, I felt incredibly honored to help feed starving children. I invite others to take part in this mitzvah because it is a good way to feel good and help others. So, in conclusion, I would like to first and foremost thank my parents for this amazing opportunity and letting me take part in becoming a father. I would also like to thank them for this party, and I would also like to thank Cameron for coming. <laughs> I would also like to thank my grandparents for all their love and support through the process. I would also like to thank my Aunt Betty and Pearl and Howard for coming all the way from Florida and Arizona. In addition, I would also like to thank all the teachers from Anche Tikva for teaching me all the necessary skills I needed to know to know how to become a Bhagavad Gita. I would also like to thank Cantor Rabbi Jury for all the valuable information he has taught me. I would also, I would also like to thank Anshu Tikva for all the education I have received over the past five years. Lastly, I would like to thank all of my friends for coming and celebrating this special day. After all I have said to you, I would just like to thank you all for coming and supporting me through the process of becoming a Bat Mitzvah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Yazakoa, beautiful. Talk to us about your experience of becoming a bat mitzvah. We're going to invite the congregation now to take a moment and hear a little bit about your studies. Sydney, we are so proud of you. We are so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Your dedication to your practice has stood out as I've had the opportunity to work with you over these last several years, along with the beauty of your voice, for we hope that you will become a cantor. 
so that I might retire. <laughs> but you bring to your studies a dedication and hard work along with that beauty of the voice that lifts up the prayers and elevates them to Hidur HaMitzvah, the beautification of the mitzvah of prayer. We saw the dedication of your family to study and the dedication of your family to doing mitzvot of good deeds, the Gimilut Chasadim. I hope you take that with you all the days of your life from the lessons from your family and that you appreciate the dedication of your parents for what it took to get you to Hebrew school and Sunday school so that you could have the education you desired and deserve. These are things we hope you bring on to your own children as well. I'm going to invite a very special blessing for you in a moment. And then first I'm going to give you a private blessing. So I invite the entire congregation to take a minute to think about Sydney, some of your favorite moments of her life, could have been the day she was born. <laughs> Could have been moments ago when she chose to read from a scroll that survived the Nazi Holocaust and chant so beautifully. <coughs> Could have been that couple weeks ago at school. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. That could have been a moment too. But to take your favorite moments in your heart and to think about that and see his life desire for her private Shalom, and together we say, Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehefianu Vekimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazeh Thank you. 